And Tampa city leaders are considering repealing the recently adopted noise ordinance. This comes just a month after the controversial rule passed. News Channel 8's Beth Rousseau joins us live in Ybor City with the story. Hey, Beth. Hey, Avery, and there has been a whole lot of concerns and controversy over this noise ordinance. Right now, city council members are dealing with bar owners here in Ybor City and Channel Side and South Howard citywide that are at odds with homeowners in the area. Now, during this morning's meeting, city council members are expected to talk about officially doing away with the rule that they passed back in January. If the ordinance does go into effect, what it's going to do is limit outdoor sound after midnight. City staff is getting an earful from both sides of this argument as they host public meetings and take feedback from community members. Some owners want to create a specific entertainment district with different regulations in residential areas, while others say that a new tougher noise ordinance is needed and has been for a while. They're still not being handled properly. They're giving verbal warnings and not documenting. I think everybody needs to slow down a little bit to let the people come up with something that will be workable. And so this morning city council meeting where they're going to be discussing repealing this noise ordinance is set for nine o'clock. City staff says regardless of what happens in that meeting, they're still going to be taking community feedback. So Avery, that public meeting, the next one is going to be on Wednesday. Well, sounds good, Beth. Uh, hey, how often are police responding to these noise complaints? Yeah, so that definitely plays a role in all of this. From January 2019 to October 2020, Tampa police responded to 12,000 calls for music disturbance. So it's definitely something that's happening. It's just a matter of what the most effective way of dealing with it is. All right, Beth, you're so live for us this morning. Thanks a bunch.